1869, the first railroad tracks came through the edge of this property. In 1877, the Wilmington and Northern Railroad was formed and this became a main route for it. Interestingly, Colonel Henry Algernon DuPont of Wintertour was the president of the Wilmington and Northern Railroad. Very purpose in many ways was to bring explosives from the DuPont Company up to the coal country around Reading, Pennsylvania. And then in turn, the trains would bring coal back from that area back down to serve the various places along the way. Winter tour here at the train station actually had a siding where a coal car could be pushed to one side there and then they would dump the coal into wagons or probably later trucks below to take it over to use for fuel for the house. This also was Winter Tour's post office. In 1900, it uh, first started serving that function and that continued till 1967. A woman named Anna Norris Upright was the postmaster the longest uh, federal postmaster in the state of Delaware. Now for the DuPonts, this is an important way of shipping produce and dairy and meat and flowers from the winter tour farms here off to their other residences in Florida or New York. Now the train station itself, I want to mention, was designed by Theophilus P. Chandler. He was a very noted architect and also the brother-in-law of Henry Algernon DuPont. Chandler had done an 1884 expansion on the main winter tour house, and then in 1899 uh, began the work on this particular train station. It has a lot of, of details that are very much a uh, signature of Chandler, these fish scale uh, shingles you see behind us. And some of you may remember the Port Cochere behind me here was the inspiration for the mirrored folly. The train stops along the way. Some of the names are probably going to be familiar to some of you. Uh, Iancourt, Grenogue, Monchannon, of course, Winter Tour. The line went up to Pacupson and then further on up into Chester County and beyond. Well, people often ask, is, is the train still active? And it is. If you happen to be visiting here and walking about the property on one of the trails, uh, you may hear the train whistle and then see this very slowly moving uh, freight train as it's working its way up into further up into Chester County. Today, it's the East Penn Railroad that runs the line. But it's another one of those parts of Winter Tour history that gives us a sense of just how expansive this property was and also all the different elements of involvement that Colonel Henry A. DuPont and then Henry Francis DuPont uh, had with this community.